Returning to the continent, African leaders from the Great Lakes region met on Thursday to find a solution to the fighting in the Democratic Republic of Congo between the armed forces and M23 rebels. Viewers Gab Jocelyn reports from Goma, where residents are hoping for a quick and firm end to the conflict. A love song in a time of war. Inside this guitar shop in Goma, students practice their chord progressions, while outside, the military battles a tenacious group of rebel soldiers. Shop owner Emmanuel Barubi says Congolese people have a natural gift for guitar, but sadly, in the midst of conflict, he says nobody has the money to spend on music. When there is a war, people don't have the means to buy anything. But when there is peace, people are okay. They don't worry. They can come to buy a guitar. After nearly two weeks of fierce fighting outside the city, Barubi hopes the military will finish off the M23 rebels once and for all. All the time they talk about peace, but so far no solution. So my wish is that the army will continue to fight until they finish the war. In the last two weeks, Congolese armed forces backed by United Nations peacekeepers have pushed the rebels back from within striking distance of Goma. The rebels had briefly seized control of the city in November and, until now, had held positions just 10 kilometers from the population. The ongoing conflict has taken its greatest toll on civilians. Many thousands of people have fled to camps like this since the rebellion began last year. And with the current fighting, the numbers have continued to swell. The rising population has put a real strain on resources and raised the cost of living. Mutrangeri Jean-Baptiste Ndandi fled to the Mugunga camp from the nearby hills as fighting intensified last November. There is hunger. We're suffering. See the place where I'm sleeping? See how the children are living? These are the problems we have here. Eastern Congo has long been racked by war, fueled by historic tension between neighbors and the scramble for natural resources. As the region's leaders point fingers and trade blame, people here just hope the fighting will stop long enough for a more normal life to begin again. Gabe Jocelyn, VOA News, Goma.